at a certain village of the province of La Mancha, which I shall not name, there lived, not long ago, one of those old-fashioned gentlemen who are never without a lance upon a rack, an old target, a lean horse and a greyhound. His diet consisted more of beef than mutton, and with minced meat on most nights, lentils on Fridays, grief and grounds on Saturdays, a pigeon extraordinary on Sundays, he consumed three quarters of his revenue. He gave himself up so wholly to the reading of romances that at night he would pour on until it was day, and the days he would read on until it was night. And thus, by sleeping little and reading much, the moisture of his brain was exhausted to that degree that at last he lost the use of his reason. A world of disorderly notions picked out of his books crowded into his imagination, and now his head was full of nothing but enchantments, quarrels, battles, challenges, wounds, complaints, amours, torments, an abundance of stuff and impossibilities. Insomuch that all the fables and fantastical tales which he read seated to him now as true as the most authentic histories. <laughs>